welcome to Significant TV, Significant Stories from Significant Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is Isaac Salm, Managing Director of Mio. And Mio is found on the web at mioculture.com. Isaac, welcome. Thank you very much, Fran. Thank you for having me. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. It's so exciting. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Well, you know, I'm going to launch right in because okay. this is all about significant stories. Okay. And I always love when entrepreneurs share with me a significant moment that sort of put them on the path to entrepreneurship. What's yours? Well, my, my story actually starts back in, in the 80s when I was a child in Colombia. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually realized that my dad was an, inter an entrepreneur. Uh, we used to go to, to a factory, you know, full of machines. And then one day it clicked like, oh my God, everybody's listening to what he's saying. I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay, he's the boss, he owes it. And then I, it, it kind of got me thinking as, as to, you know, what life could be just working for yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I grew, and, and, and when I saw like in the dinner table, you know, we were just talking about the business and mm -hmm. I, 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 I kind of understood that entrepreneurship was a, actually a way of life, mm -hmm. more so than just a job. Mm -hmm. And uh, the passion and the energy that you invest in your business uh, ends up being uh, re re retributed, you know, it comes back. Right. Um, so it was, it was very interesting. It was really an amazing uh, learning experience just living with an entrepreneur mm -hmm. and uh, actually my dad was uh, effectively the third generation doing the same thing wow so uh when i was when uh, back in colombia uh i i used to you know i would be the, like the fourth generation but i did, we decided to start something different here in the states and why why not be the fourth generation i the, there were i mean we we could could have uh, kept going uh, as far as uh, you know a fourth generation, but I didn't feel that my heart was in it. Mm. And when your heart is not in it, you better say you, you better make a decision. And when I started Mio with my brother, that was really something that that spoke to me and my passion. And I didn't want to live in in Colombia, and I ah, saw myself in the states. Okay, and okay. what we were doing is you know, groundbreaking and new and different. And so it's, it's even, even if it's a small, it's, it was smaller, Mio, uh, mm -hmm. than, than the family business, it, it was mine, something it's that we yours. just started. Okay. So. Well, you know, that, that sort of always leads me to my second question, which is, you know, the business that you start, where does it come from? What's the passion? What's the purpose? Um, well, Mio, we're an industrial uh, sustainable design firm. Uh, mm -hmm. We effectively have a boutique design consultancy inside the studio and then we have the uh, collection of products and since the beginning Mio has always been about true su sustainability we've been committed to not only environmental but uh, social and just a uh, general sustainability okay. um, so we we were we were doing a uh, design for the circular economy but since 2001 since green was you know known as a color Okay. And okay. Uh, now everybody's like green is sustainability, eco-friendly. Right. But back then, uh, it was really something very new. And people, when when people thought about sustainable or green, they always thought about Birkenstocks and granola. Right. And, <laughs> right. and so it was really breakthrough. A different culture. A very different yeah. culture. I mean, yeah. sustainability is about being sophisticated. It's about mm -hmm. making better decisions. Mm -hmm. And uh, and in the end, I mean, the passion for for what we're doing is. Uh, coming from that we're doing something that is generating a positive impact for people. Okay, so, so I see the passion, you speak with your hands. Why sustainability back then? What was, what well, was in your background? Well actually it was more driven by my brother. He went mm -hmm. to school and he was in a very fortunate position because all of his teachers were kind of a very edgy, talking mm -hmm. about, you know, what's next, what's next, the Viridian, Bruce Sterling, you know, mm -hmm. that type of culture. And that highly influenced my brother, Jaime. He's our creative director. And so when he was graduating, he, he always thought, you know, sustainability has to be at the heart of what I'm doing because I truly believe that we should, you know, help, try to help mitigate the impact that 
humans are generating on on the world uh, and it should be part of a you know of a, a natural cycle we shouldn't be just in doing stuff that we manufacture initially and then it, it ends up in the landfill it has right, to be a, right. a circular situation where you're using the resources in a, such a way that they can be reused mm -hmm. and uh, and I cannot learn that as I started the business mm -hmm. um, when I originally joined him I was I came from corporate America I was working at Kimberly Clark so I was like the first thing we gotta do Jaime is we gotta go to China and start manufacturing stuff over there because we need mm -hmm. the lowest cost producer mm -hmm. and he's like wait a minute uh -huh. what, are, what are you accounting for in that cost are you really accounting for the externalities of you know what how you're impacting society how, I mean the, the wages what what's happening to your local economy and that was like okay interesting so that's a different story altogether uh, and that's kind of how I joined you know mentally Jaime in, in this mm -hmm. endeavor mm -hmm. so for some of the listeners they may not really be sure exactly what you do and what you produce I mean right. it, they hear sustainability um, but what is it? Is it something they can touch? Is it something yes. they can so, see? Yes, so like, like I said, there's two business units. One is the consulting, where mm -hmm. we help companies uh, transform their uh, business practices uh, from not only a manufacturing standpoint, but a cultural standpoint into a more sustainable way of doing business. Mm -hmm. And the other is, is the collection of products, which is based on uh, local manufacturing materials that fit closed loop environment, uh, closed loop manufacturing systems, minimal waste. Uh, and I have an example actually. What, what? what I brought with me today is our, it's a brand new product that we just launched. Mm -hmm. It's called the Nomad System Felt. It's actually made from 100% recycled plastic bottles. So it's recycled PET. And uh, these modules effectively assemble together very simply. Oh my goodness, it's like a Lego set. It's like a Lego set. Wow. And these notches allow it to either be assembled in a closed configuration, so it's going to be per perfectly private, or in an open, so it's semi-private. Mm -hmm. And it'll help with, uh, you know, you're building a room that has acoustics. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can insulate sections of a room with these, with these modules. And it's literally, it's uh, an office in a box, if you will. Oh, that's cool. Now you have different colors? Yes, so it comes okay. in, uh, right now, it comes in... Uh, Charcoal gray. In, yes, in this gray. Mm -hmm. Red, mm -hmm. uh, navy, mm -hmm. Ooh, uh, nice. white, oh, okay. and then this Ooh. aqua. Oh, the aqua is cool. Mm -hmm. So if someone were setting up, uh, they would put it side by side? So yeah, so but once, once you start assembling these, these mm -hmm. pieces together, um, you can just start making a wall, and you can okay. go as high as you want. The, the, the way that we designed the wall is that once you start building up, it's exactly one, one foot, so it's in one foot increments. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you can literally, I mean, turn, turn any space into a, you know, a, a private area. Wow. So you've been doing this, <coughs> excuse me, you've been creating this product um, what are some of the resu results that you've achieved? Well, this product is actually uh, uh, two weeks old. We just launched it I at, love the, it. I love at it. the ICFF in New okay. York. The okay. response has been amazing. Um, mm -hmm. It's actually uh, the precursor to this uh, product it was a, a, a tile that is an acoustic tile. But right. we, we used to have a Nomad that is made out of cardboard. But we were getting a lot of people saying, hey, we love it. But it seems too temporary, and there's, there might be issues with uh, uh, fire rating, and so we, we, just okay. com we just combined the Nomad system, our original Nomad system, mm -hmm. with our felt forms, which are uh, our acoustic panels, and we, we melded together the two ideas, mm -hmm. and the result is that Nomad system felt. Totally cool. So, what's next for you? Well, I mean... We right now uh, are in a very uh, accelerated growth mode. Mm -hmm. uh, we are building the team mm -hmm. with our, I think our investments in infrastructure, at least our systems infrastructure is, is, is in place. We recently started working with a fulfillment center that is doing wonders for us so we don't have to deal with the operation. We okay. are effectively what we've always been, which is an idea factory. We have factories oh, that we cool. work 
without throughout the U.S. Everything's domestically uh, manufactured. The majority is in the tri-state area, um, and now we're now that we're organizing ourselves, we, we're now like effectively we have a business development manager which we hired. We have uh, a new design team, and we're just ramping up and getting ready for for the next stage. Totally exciting. So you're focusing your energy clearly for action. Um, imagine it's a, a year from now. Where will you be? Wow. Where will your product be? What kinds of well, places? Yeah, actually, the way that we focus the collection uh, mm -hmm. is effectively for all of the new generation of uh, companies out there mm -hmm. that are Obviously, there's a lot of companies that work in, for example, open area, open, yes. op open yes. office. Yes. So all of our products are geared for that open office slash home office because okay. there's a lot of people working sure. from their home. Sure. And, uh, and in general, individuals that care about the future of the planet. So it's a, it's, it's, it's a, it mixes that, and we're uh, in the midst of negotiating two very large distribution agreements for companies that have a nationwide coverage because we decided against just starting to try to recruit a sales force. It didn't make sense for us. Right. So we just effectively talked to the largest that would listen to us and the largest <laughs> are listening. And, oh, uh, that's great. That is significant. It is very wow. significant. So wow. we're very happy. Wow, good luck. Thank I, you. It's, it's exciting to have you on the show. Um, again, if folks want to get in touch with you, where should they go? How should they, they find should, you? They should uh, visit our website. It's mm -hmm. uh, meoculture.com. That's M-I-O culture.com. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you can see all of our product line. You can see our consulting uh, work and case studies and all of the new releases. Absolutely fabulous. Isaac, I'm so glad that you've been on the show. Um, I want to just touch those of one course, more time. Of course. Here you go. They're, they're totally cool. So one could have this in their office if one is setting up... Uh, an open space, this will provide almost like cubicle dividers? Exactly. Wow, exactly. totally exciting. Well, Isaac, thanks for being on the show. Um, look forward to seeing you a year from now and hearing about the successes. And uh, maybe next time we'll bring your brother on the show as Sounds well. Sounds good. Since awesome. you're a duo, the yes, dynamic duo. Absolutely. Well, well, thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you. You've been watching Significant TV, Significant Stories by Significant Entrepreneurs. And our guest today was Isaac Salm, Managing Director of Mio. And you can find them at meoculture.com. Thanks. Thank you, friend.